something gotta go, something gotta go, cause you don't gotta go, something gotta go, wiki wiki. GarageBand has dropped a brand new sound pack. It is the hip hop pack called Beat Tape. And we're going to dive in and take a, a little play with this. I've got a video that I did, which is about a 10 minute kind of short version of this. Uh, I'm going to jump in here and see if we can actually create a bit of a hip hop track. And look, I've even got my microphone ready for some yeah girl goodness. This is available both on your iPhone and your iPad, whether you are on iOS 16 or 15.7. My advice is at the moment, if you're using both devices, stay on iOS 15. 15.7 and only update to 16 once iPad OS 16 is released and that's probably going to be in October. So once you've downloaded it, so there'll be a little get button there, you'll download it, you'll get all these. Now, no alchemy synth packs in this one, no virtual instruments, no, not even any uh, MIDI uh, loops or anything. This is all audio. So these are all audio loops and beat sequencer kits and drum kits, as well as a live loops grid. Now, if you've never used live loops in GarageBand before, I know some of you haven't, if you come out here to uh, whether you're in tracks mode, if you hit the live loops button and you scroll on across, we can find the beat tape pack. And this is this can build out a bit of a track. So if you've not used live loops before, there's two ways you can do it. We can hit the entire column and it's going to do a bit of that. We'll swap it, stop it, um, or you can actually select multiple, multiple different loops. We'll just pick one that's got a bit of everything. As usual, we've gone with an abrupt ending, and we're going to uh, we're going to rap live over this beat. And this old man is going to uh, yell at clouds and rap over this fire beat that we've just done. Hello, Rena. Uh, hello, folks who are joining us here. Uh, you can't have the hop if you don't have the hip. There you go. Hip, hip. Let's create a uh, a, a audio recorder track. Now we, we need a we need a hip hop style uh, preset here, don't we? So let's go to our vocals. What do we reckon? We don't really have anything like that. Do we? we don't want the heavy. Maybe just some pop overdrive to, to give us a start here. Turn our monitor on. Ba, ju, ba, ba, do, ba, do, ba, 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 You can't get the hop if you don't have the hip. No, you can't have the hop if you don't got no hip. Since I don't like the um the pop overdrive effect on there. I think we need to smooth that out a little bit. Yeah, girl. Because it's definitely a little bit overblown. Was that check, 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 check? No. So that was just on on the preset here. Let's soften that preset. Yep. Welcome to how not to rap on iOS. Exactly. This is uh, this is old man territory here, folks. But am I having fun? Is this fresh? Hell yeah. Is this something that I've never done before? Absolutely. Does that make it cool? I think so. All right, let's go. All right. Something gotta go. Let's put some uh, go down right now. Gotta have some auto tune, don't we? You can't get the hop if you don't have the hip. No, you can't have the hop if you don't got no hip. <laughs> I, I do like that. I do like that line. And does it work in there? I'm going to get rid of that little preamble there. Um, let's just uh, play along with this. You can't get the hop if you don't have the hip. No, you can't have the hop if you don't got no hip. I'm a hip hop king. <laughs> I'm a hip hop king. God, no. You can rock it. Getting in the pocket. Big John's in the studio. Ain't got no Susudio. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's do it. Yeah, rocket, get, get in, in the pocket, Pete Jones in the house, ain't got, got no rocket. Yeah, yeah, girl. Oh, man. Um, look, if, if you're into hip-hop, 
I've got to say that you'd probably be able to create rather rather than if you're a beat maker or sorry if you're a rapper rather than going onto YouTube and stealing <laughs> a bunch of uh, or borrowing a bunch of beats from random people, maybe you come on here. Let's see if we could add something to this. So um, don't forget that after your live loops, you can actually add in some extra stuff. So let's see if we can come in here to uh, add a little bit more flavor to this beat by grabbing the beat sequencer and doing a little something over the top that might work with this. So uh, we don't want the modern 808. Let's use one of these new kits, shall we? Recently downloaded, and then we'll go to the beat tape. And uh, we want probably something like spaced out. Let's just... That's actually pretty cool straight off the bat. So let's say uh, hit record. And we'll just let it do it. You can't get the hop. Okay, it doesn't work at all, does it? It's... It sounds way out of there, but I do like that one effect that we had in there. Uh, which, what was that one? That was this, was it? Oh, just to get a blank pattern. There we go. New pattern. So I actually really liked um, that. Oh, it's, it must be in the in the bonus sections. Or is it that one? No, that's just that. Oh, it's the FX. It's this one here. I like this. Boo, woo, 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 Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to um, I'm going to bring this one in, but just uh, just at this bar three here. So if we record on that, you can't get the right. Uh, we'll just put it there, and then you can bring it from here to here. You can't get the hop. And you know what we can do here now? We can uh, move some of these things around. So to create some stereo space once you've used these, don't forget you can use things like your panning. So we can pan out the instruments there. We'll keep that guitar effects down the middle, but let's just uh, throw a little wider plug in on there again to just get a little bit more width on this. I mean, love with wider. I know I use it on everything, but I love it. Boom, boom, ba -doom, boom, ba -doom, boom, ba -doom, boom, um, ba boom, 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 boom. And you know what? Th th this won't be anything that I keep or do, but I, I, I kind of like the, the, I like what Clayton came up with there. And um, I could even like do more of a rock song, but uh, it, with a little bit of a hip hop beat, like maybe you create some sort of hybrid something or other, and that could be cool. Uh, so this, these ones here. What I'd like to do with these is actually do a cool trick, which is a, uh, we can do, we can do a copy and do a paste. Uh, we can do some panning automation. So to do panning automation here in GarageBand, you need to create two tracks with the same thing on them. And then what we can do is we can go into our automation and what we're going to do is add some automation points to when this track gets turned down. So we'll do it across like a couple of bars. So we'll make that one go down and we'll make that one come up. So this will kind of shift it from side to side. So if we just line these up with, uh, on, just bring that up there so we can see where we're doing it. Uh, let's do it every four bars just so that we don't have to do quite as much work. So if we just bring it like that and then we do it again to another four bars and bring it back up and bring it back down. And it can be a bit rough because it doesn't have to be exacting. It's not an exact kind of science. And then do like about another four bars there and bring it down there and bring it back up here on that side. So what this does is it creates an effect where you get this panning automation effect. So if we uh, now enable both of these tracks, take a listen to this. Hear how it's like moving side to side? You know why it's not? We didn't ban them. We missed the last step. That one goes on the left. That one goes on the right. Let's try that one again, shall we? See how it's shifting? I dig it. Needs to be a bit louder, but we've already got the automation on there. So what we can do is just use a little clip gain. So we can just gain this up like uh, maybe seven or eight dB. And then this one here, this way we don't have to mess with that again, but we can get this one to go a little higher. I kind of like that sound. And this is the, the other thing, like I may not use this in this track, but that could be a really cool thing to use in a, um, in just like a nice ambient track.
Let's see what it sounds like with all this uh, stereo panning business down here. There you go, it's a little bit wider. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. You can't get the hop if you don't have the hip. You know what this needs? This needs like a, a dub, uh, a dub style vocal where we have like a, a really fast echo on there, doesn't it? Like maybe like a dance echo A, and then we just um, do this. Can't get the hop if you don't have the hip. You know what? We'll do another effect here. We won't put that on everything, but we'll do that like on our last word. So to do this, we can actually create a second track. We'll duplicate this and copy our little vocal part down. So you're not just getting you're not just getting the hip hop stuff here. You get some additional uh, info here that can hopefully help you with your tracks, even if you're not making a random old man hip hop track like this. So we'll paste those down there. And what I want to do is I just want this track to be, so this one's our original vocal track. We're going to leave that as it is, and we're going to use the second track. You can't get the hop if you don't have the hip. The second track here, we're going to use as just an effects track. So the way we can do that is we'll just turn the reverb off on that one. We come into plugins and EQ. Now we'll just take off this effect EQ. We don't need that one. We'll add in a, uh, a track echo on this one. And what we can do here is we can turn the dry completely off and the wet completely up. So now this is just the echo of this track. So if we listen to it, you'll hear, you can't get the hop if you don't have the hip. So what we want to do is we want to in, in, uh, increase the time here. So I reckon a 30 second dotted to get that real like da 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 You can't get the hop if you don't have the hip. No, but I don't think we need that much. Maybe even like a 16th. Well, 16th triplet could be interesting because it could be a little bit like off the beat. Can't get, get the hop if you don't have, have the hip. hip. Mm, no, maybe an eighth. Maybe we just need an eighth note. Let's just try this. I'm just trying a few different variations here. Can't, Can't get, get the, the hop, hop if you don't, don't have, have the hip. hip. There we go. Uh, and my breathing as well. So what we can now do is using this one, we can just have this as just a little bit of uh, a little bit of effect on there so if we bring these both back together this is the vocal and this is just the effect so have a have a look and a listen and see how this works you can't, you can't get the hop if, if you don't, don't have, have the hip. Hip, hip, hip and then what we can do is we can actually automate this effect so we can if you say oh you can't do effects automation here in GarageBand well you kind of can it just takes a little bit more effort so if we turn our automation on here and bring that down and then where we want to bring it up is just this like last line Oop, didn't mean to create that all right. This last line here, actually we better undo that, otherwise we'll get automation down there. All right, so this last line here, we can have it on there, but 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 and then we can turn it back down like so. It's creating some priority patterns. Oh, I did the same thing again. And then again down here uh, on that last last line and then bring it back up. Yep, 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 yep. And then bring it back down again. So what you're creating here now is an effect where you're getting the effect, but only on that last word. So you can get this kind of vibe. You can't get the hop if you don't have the hip. The hip. hip, hip. No, you can't have the hop if you don't got no hip. hip, hip, hip. <laughs> and the old man breathing between lines. But that'll get buried in the mix here. But it's just a cool way. Like it's good for rock vocals and a bunch of other methods, uh, a bunch of other genres, because you can use some uh, effect automation. Let's bring this back in here to our mix. You can't get the hop if you don't have the hip, hip, hip. No, you can't have the hop if you don't got no hip, hip, hip. Oh my, you can't. <laughs> and then it did some weird stuff there. Because it moved the... Uh... Yeah. Uh, all right. I, I, I don't mind that. I think that's come together well. So we've showed a few different techniques here. We could obviously use live loops to bring it in here. The one final thing that we could do is come in here to our Apple loops and bring in any of these. If you go to filter by sound pack and make sure you've just got the beat tape selected there, you can come here and uh, play around with any of these particular loops. So let's just see if there's anything... That's interesting in here. That sounds like my dog sniffing in the corner. What's some? Those are kind of cool. Let's just bring these in here, but not to do anything with this, because what I now want to do is I want to create a completely different track, because I really like these uh, textures here. So let's just see if we can uh, create something with this and with this together.
<laughs> Not quite. Um, but yeah, you could you could use a bunch of different things. Like we could maybe some hi hats. And don't forget you can use um you can use your search box there to go hats. So you could just bring in like some sound like this. So yeah, so even if you're not doing hip hop, there's some sounds in there that can probably help you out. So there you go. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that uh, 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 on some level. 